Hey guys, welcome back to another video of making a server for our React Native mobile app. So, um, previous video we went ahead and created our um, config folder, middleware folder, and models folder, which had our database, our uh, authentication codes, our auth middleware, and then our models. Now, in this video, we'll go ahead and connect a lot of that. So if beginning our index.js file and let's go ahead and do const database equals require dot slash config slash database and then we're gonna go ahead and run that here like so. So we only need to run database once. And then once we did that we can just save it. Invalid connection string. So let's go get our connection string. So uh, we'll go to mongodb.com. Uh, I'm just gonna sign in real quick. If you don't have an account, just click sign up or try free and then sign in. I'm just gonna sign in on this side here. And then once you guys do sign in, you should come to a screen that will ask you to make, uh, mo well, most likely ask you to make a new organization. So let's see, I'll be in the screen to view all organizations. So I'm gonna create a new one. So we're back here, we are here. So we're gonna create a new organization and I will call this one to do app. Uh, and then MongoDB Atlas is just fine. Click next. Don't need to add any new members unless you guys have members in it. Let's go ahead and click create. And inside of this organization, we've got to create a um, project. So we'll call this to do server next go ahead and create project ideally your organization should be named something else i'll just call it to do app for this purposes but let's say you are a organization creating websites you can maybe call it uh, our websites or you can call it what's whatever your name is like youtube something you know so create a cluster that's what we want to do Click build a cluster. We're gonna do shared clusters. And we're going to pick a free one. So I'm gonna choose island. The star should mean that it's free. Lies in it has a free tier. We go shared RAM 512 free forever. That's the one we want. Click create cluster. So in a production app, you don't want to use the free one, you want to go ahead and make a proper dedicated one um of course based on the usage you think you'll require but good thing with mongodb is you can scale up as and when needed so if you if you're only getting ten thousand requests per month you'll probably get a cheaper version of mongo and then as you start increasing to let's say a hundred thousand you can then just upgrade and it should be very easy to do that so this will take a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I'll be back when it's done. Hey guys, welcome back. So um, now that your cluster has been made, you can go ahead and click connect. And let's go ahead and choose, so we need to database user. It's gonna go test and test. Go ahead and create that, no thanks. Yep, so it's gonna say allow access from everywhere. That's fine. You can choose to allow it to your specific IP that would protect this database if credentials go out. That's fine. Now, we want to connect with the Mongo shell. So let me go ahead and log out of here. Go ahead and disconnect. And what you do is copy this credentials. Do, no, no, I have them. So click I have the Mongo shell installed and then click copy, 
because we installed in the previous one. And then here you see it's already pasted in for us. So click connect. And we are connected. Sweet. Yep. So now let's just go and close that. So that string we copied, we also want to use it in this app here. If we go to config, default.json, and then Mongo URI, paste that here. Hang on, no, not like that. That was for Mongo Show. So let's go back and click connect again. And connect your application. We want this one. Go ahead and copy that and then go back to our app and then here paste it there and then here where the arrow brackets are make sure you get rid of those and type your password so i'll just call my test that's what we'll find the database name you need to specify so i'm just going to call it app we can save that now we did set up, so this will run. So assuming everything's all right, should have run. Now it is also making changes, or it was, it's not anymore. So we can see there's no crash, but there is also no message. Right, that's because I didn't tell it to say it, do anything. So. Let's go ahead and do console.log in our database.js file and type mongodb uh, connected. So dot dot dot. Save that. And as it runs, it should let us know. Yep, mongodb connected. Sweet. So now that we connect to our database, let's go to. We've got all of these. So let's go ahead and real quick create our routes or we've created our routes so we're going to connect that route so app.use slash users and then require dot slash routes slash users and let's go ahead and duplicate that and change users to to do's just like that and then let's go into to do's or users start with users and we're going to do the same thing we did in test so just very simple quick require express and then const router equals express dot router and then router dot get slash and here we'll do our function we'll put our rec and our rest in there and we'll just say res.send users page like that let's uh let's also module.exports is equal to um router like that we can copy that paste that into do's and change users to to do's page you can save that assuming it's all good we can then go here and we can do slash but slash won't work so if you remember here in the app we did slash users so we would need to do slash users and that's the users page so that connects to the slash here if we were to change that to test then we refresh this it will say there's an error but if we do slash test here it will bring up users page so depending on what we put here is how we connect to it in the url and then we can check our to do's to do's is working as well so in the next video we'll start adding some code in here and we can start to connect to our database so thanks guys i'll catch you then